Namaste, this is Dr. Pavitra, naturopathic physician and an integrative nutritionist. We have launched our new YouTube channel, Health Support 360. Encourage and support us, like, share and subscribe. I'll be meeting you frequently uh, through our YouTube channel with informative health related topics. Today's topic is immune system has been the buzzword. Let's see what immune system is, how it works in our bodies and leads us to healthy, happy life. Immune system, our immune system starts from our bone marrows. The stem cells produce their sits and waits for the body's signals. The signals depends on the body's internal environment, like the hormonal balances, the nutritional status of the body, <clears throat> lifestyle, and also the food habits. Of course, genetics plays an important role. So once the body sends signals to these cells, then the stem cells becomes, undergoes different processes to become specialized cells to do the job that it's supposed to do. So the immune system is flexible and adaptable to body's internal environment. That is called as the immunoplasticity. When we take 100 COVID-19 positive cases, all are not equally affected. Few are totally asymptomatic, non-infected. Few others are mildly infected. They easily recover when the treatment is given and get back to normal life. And few others are seriously infected. They have serious complications the infection spreads to the vital organs and can even become fatal and deadly. What's the difference? What's happening inside their bodies and how is the immune system supporting them? Patients who already have the diagnosis of diabetes, hypertension, heart disease, obesity and cancer are among the category of seriously infected coronavirus patients. So why is it so? What's the common denominator in all these diseases? So according to the functional medicine system, we say inflammation is the reason, is the common thing among all these diseases. So the low grade inflammation, when it is not addressed for a long term, for a long period of time, it could lead to all these chronic diseases and autoimmunity. So the other uh, uh, kind of cases who get seriously ill is the uh, people who are in their 60s and 70s. I want to make clear what inflammation is. So when somebody gets hurt, so what happens? There's a swelling, then redness, um, slight increase in the temperature and pain. You know, all these things are happening inside our bodies for a good purpose, you know, for the healing to happen. So when this is happening, our body secretes chemical mediators called as pro-inflammatory chemicals. Those are necessary for those specific time for our body to repair those tissues in this acute condition. But once the condition is solved, then the pro-inflammatory chemicals should subside and then the healing starts to happen. For the healing to happen, the anti-inflammatory chemicals should be secreted. So if the anti-inflammatory chemicals are not there and pro-inflammatory chemicals are there for long term in our system, then it can, it can damage our tissues and organs. Like for example, when the chemical mediators goes and disturbs our brain tissues, that's when autism or you know Alzheimer's or those kind of diseases are there. Those are called as inflammation in the brain, the neural inflammation. When these pro-inflammatory chemicals affect our joints and tissues, then we call it as an autoimmune rheumatoid arthritis. 
So um, to make it clear, like for example, in obesity, that is people who have pot bellies especially. So the visceral fat that is around their abdominal organs secrete pro-inflammatory chemicals. So when these chemicals are beyond a limit, it becomes inflammatory, systemic inflammation, and it could damage their tissues. Even they have their high rate of C-reactive protein and disturb their hormonal balances like insulin and leptin. So the take home message here is when the chemicals, the pro-inflammatory and the anti-inflammatory chemicals are out of balance, it alters our immune system. It alters our immune mechanism, the survival defense mechanism. When the uh, immune system is altered, a body cannot do the healing process. Our body changes, shifts into the sympathetic parasy- sympathetic system, sympathetic mode of system. That is the survival mechanism. And it's in a low grade stress, the body is in stress. So the body cannot rest and digest and heal and rejuvenate and repair. Every 10 seconds, a million of white blood cells, 20 million red blood cells and 30 million platelets cells are produced in our human bodies. So the cases with serious infection The body's environment is not suitable, it's not conducive to send signals to these young vital defense cells to become a specialized cell and fight back the virus. When the conditions are hostile, the immune system, the altered immune system loses its resilience. So it is not able to fight back the virus. But the people with no infection and mild infection, the body's environment is suitable. The host is ready and robust to fight back the virus. In spite of all the medical advancements, the technological improvements and sophistications in healthcare, we are in crisis today. Why is it so? As a practitioner, I always wonder what was um, that that made us, that made our ancestors fight viruses and their exposures and what is lagging within us? What was different in their lifestyles and ours? And what was special in their food and ours? What are we lagging? What is making us sick and sicker every single day? So when I was looking deeper into all these aspects, the ancient traditional indigenous wisdom intrigued me. Wild plants and heirloom variety of plants have innate intelligence. They have their own survival mechanism and defense mechanism. They are drought resistant, they are virus resistant. In harsh climatic conditions where there's no water, the roots, the plants roots know where the water is and they can go deep into the earth and find water. And they have no legs to run from the organisms or insects or viruses or funguses. So they secrete a special type of chemicals, plant hormones and pigments called as phytonutrients, the plant chemical compounds. There are several kinds and numbers of compounds in each wild plants. So these symphony of these phytonutrients are the plant's immune system. Interestingly, when we eat or consume these plants, it has an instigating effect on our immune system. So the plant survival mechanism, its memories, its experiences during these harsh conditions are stored in its genome, the plant genome. So in the future, in case if it faces any kind of challenges or exposure to any organisms like viruses and bacteria, it has the innate capacity to 
self defense and protected all these mechanisms and intelligence is stored in the seeds of the plants so when we cultivate the seeds the plant grows with the same intelligence the plant and we have co-evolved with each other and co-adopted with each other we live in symbiosis life on earth would not have been possible without this intelligence Nutritional immunology is the advancing science branch of science of nutrition. They say that the phytonutrients, the polyphenolic compounds in these wild plants and the heirloom plants have an instigating effect, great impact on us, our immune system when consumed by us. So there's a lot of research is happening in this field and they're uh, it's all happening now but thousand and thousand of years ago our siddhas have recorded all these things in their siddhar part the song goes like this andathil ullade pindam pindathil ullade andam andamum pindamum ondre arindu dan paarkum bode the meaning of the song is the microcosm and the macrocosm are none than each other. We, they both are, we all are interconnected and co-evolve with each other. But in this Kali Yuga, we lost all this consciousness and what have we done to our mother nature? We started feeding it with chemical fertilizers, pesticides, fungicides and weedicides and went a step ahead and genetically engineered our seeds and plants so what impact has all these things on us our bodies and health we need to think about all these things hope this was interesting and informative this is the first part of the immune system in further weeks we'll be discussing further uh, about lifestyle interventions, diet and food and acupuncture and acupressure points, how to boost your immune system and all those things. So Health Support 360 is our website and YouTube channel. You can connect with us through our website. Encourage us, support us, like, share and subscribe our channel. Follow us on Facebook. Stay tuned, stay safe, stay home.